Okay, this video is for uh, Fritz AC. Uh, I'm gonna uh, redo this uh, video. Uh, this is the, the condenser. It's a RESO 036 JEZ. So basically, it has a this is a uh, ECM condenser fan motor, three blade. It uh, it runs uh, 809 RPMs on high speed, 670 on low, at 2.8 amps. So the control module here, these are the wires, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, the uh, condenser fan motor has is it six wires, it has uh, the black and the brown are the 230 volts and it goes into a plug this plug is all 24 volt wires for the two speeds and and you know how it ramps from first and uh, second stage what they'll do they have an RAAL model that has a PSC motor that they'll they won't use that plug they'll just go direct but that's the 16 seer this is the 18 seer model Okay, here's the uh, control board. Uh, these two wires are 24 volt DC that uh, go down to the compressor. Down here, which has two terminal blocks on this compressor, and the uh, 24 volt DCs uh, closes the ports on a Colford second stage to bring it up to 100% capacity. There's a solenoid actually inside that compressor that's rotating a ring that's closing the holes on the uh, the scrolls. So that comes up to here and then um, so that's, that's the plug. This one here is low pressure cutout. This here is high pressure cutout. If you ever have a problem, you can just jump right over with your alligator clips over in the corner there. Um, your high voltage is coming in here. This is the plug for the compressor. Um, your um, there's your uh, capacitor run capacitor, start relay, start capacitor. These are all your low voltage wires. R, C, L, Y1, Y2. You got your uh, fuses. Uh, and then you have, I don't know if you can see it down here because of the sun. This is uh, what tells you what's going on with the unit. The little LED. Zero is for uh, when it's not running. Little C is uh, uh, first stage cooling. Big C is second stage cooling. It has fault codes like 27 is no power. No 230 volts. Um, okay, this is the uh, sealed compressor relay. It's a... Uh, optical sensor so it uh, times the opening so that the contacts break when the voltage is at the zero volt level of the 60 hertz sine wave so basically when the unit's shutting off it detects the light from the arc and it's going to time it so it shuts down when the sine wave is at zero so there's no volts so you will not pit the contacts on that relay and that's how they're able to put a relay in here instead of a real heavy duty contactor so um, I'll show you how you pump it down it's it's real easy but it's, it's kind of funny seeing a, a unit you know up to five tons with a little relay for the compressor okay here's the uh, 
board here with the uh, test button so I can I can run through a test pattern. The compressor is going to start first. And then the fan. It uh, delays on the startup and the shutdown uh, because of the inrush current. And then I can I can actually jump with this down here and give it a call for cool. I'll bypass my delay right here. Okay, I just bypassed the delay. So here's a call for cooling. This is what it's like when it starts up. So compressor first, then condenser fan motor. So the AC is running. And then this will be a uh, shutdown. Compressor shuts off first, then the fan shuts off. Basically, that's how this runs all day long. Unless you pull up on high speed, then it's gonna kick the solenoid up. Okay. okay so here's the unit. You know, has the board that you know looks pretty sophisticated. So you you come on a service call. The customer left. You can't get in the house. She says it blows fine. I just have no cool air. One thing you can do to this, since I got my 24 volt wires coming here, you can jumper the um, the R and the Y1 or Y2. It's actually going to pull in the fan on the indoor unit, and I can run my AC. Without turning on the thermostat, so inside right now, I got 24 going to the, to the Y to the inside, which is going to pull that the furnace up on high speed. And I'm running in my air conditioning right now without going into the house with the customer not being home. It's a little trick you can do. So uh, let's say you had a bad condenser fan motor, you can replace the condenser fan motor. You just have to make sure you yeah take the wires off because you'll have the indoor fan running until the next day you show up with the motor but or, you know whatever you have but uh, that's one little trick you can do with it um, let's say that you're gonna move this condenser you have to pump it down this is how you pump it down you would just I put 24 of those because it doesn't have a contactor and you can pump it down this way you, know, you can bypass your uh, highs and lows or your low you can pump it down this way so, another little trick you can do.